Hey everyone! Welcome back! I am back today with more of the boys. You guys, I am so excited to see what is going to happen next on this crazy little show. If you're joining me early today, you already know what it means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much and as always, I'm sending up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in the description down below. So, as always, we had um, a lot happen last time on The Boys. Um, so, we got a lot more info about um, what's been going on with the whole um, Stormfront situation. Um, we found out that she is actually apparently a superhero from the 70s and who knows like exactly how far back she goes. Um, it was kind of implied that maybe the uh, compound V had some kind of effect on her aging where she hasn't been aging, um, normally or at all. Um, but we, uh, we had this really tragic scene, um, where we find out what happened, uh, during her Liberty days. And, um, by the way, I have to say, uh, that scene, like where we came into the scene and everything was such a great scene with Mother's Milk because he tells all about his dad and it's really like the first time I think that we get to hear a lot about his motivations for doing this and everything like we I don't know if in the past they've ever said like why he ever got involved with Butcher like why he was um on board with the whole taking down superheroes thing other than the obvious like the superheroes clearly all suck <laughs> well not all of them but most of them um but um yeah, it, it was just a fantastic scene with him. And I have to say, he's quickly, like, jumping to my top list of characters. Um, because I feel like we've gotten to do more with him this season. I think with Butcher not being around as much. Um, and just kind of uh, getting to see a little bit more of the group dynamic now that Huey's, like, really in the group. Um, it's It's really been awesome just to get to know him better. Um, but we had that scene where it's revealed that Stormfront's actually Liberty. And, um, I, I, I'm just so done with Stormfront. I, when she first came on the scene, I, and I said this a few times in my reaction, I'm like, how does she get away with being such a straight talker? And now that I see it, from from where I am, I'm like, oh my god, no wonder Vought loves her so much because she is so manipulative. Um, maybe even more so than any other superhero we've seen. And we know that they're all very phony, but for her, it really is just about tickling people's ears and just getting to the top while in the meantime she has just a heart full of hate and it's it's just so unsettling to watch knowing her true feelings and motives um because and I said this last time like not not seeing anything good about Homelander but there is a weird connection between how we kind of know Homelander's mind works about the world in what he puts out there to the world. Um, certainly he's not forthcoming about the whole, like, being a maniacal killer thing. But, you know, we've seen him with the whole, like, he wants him to be called super villains thing. And he's all about America. And he's a, like, there is, like, a degree of what he puts out there that that isn't that different from how he feels personally even if how he feels personally is a very, very, very twisted version. And I think just seeing Stormfront and being so, like, I was definitely, I was blindsided by the whole thing. And I know that now that I'm on the other end of it, people have come and, like, pointed out all these, all these, like, things to me um, that you can, like, little hints and everything that you can pick up in her name, her outfit, everything. Um... And I, they just, and I think for some people it did just kind of like, they weren't aware of those details. But like now that I'm on the other side of it and I know I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, how could I not see it? Um, but there's just something about her 
just being so extreme both ways, like putting out there that like she is this person of the people and and wants to like bring real justice and all this, you know, like just just and the and like spouting all these like really what seem like positive messages um, about uh, women and things like that, while just hating in the worst possible way on the inside. Um, it just feels to me like the, the worst that we have seen, the worst that we have seen so far. Um, and, and that was really saying something because Homelander. But um, I, I don't know what's going to happen with her and Homelander. Homelander is definitely not going to let this rest. I refuse to root for either one of them. I just, if they took each other out, great. The world, the world would be so much better off without either one of them. I mentioned last time, hashtag Team Meteor. Um, because <laughs> just a meteor, just a, nothing else, no one else, just the two of them. Just take them out. And uh, yeah, that that would be, that's my, that's what I'm rooting for. I'm rooting for the meteor. Um, but yeah, so just really, I just get more and more disgusted every time I... Um, we get a scene where we really see through her and the whole scene with Homelander with her and Homelander, you can clearly see like she, she really just only cares about manipulating people and getting to the top. Like there's no, like Homelander has some kind of like personal investment in it and everything which she kind of pointed out. Like he kind of has a little bit more of an ego about it. And, uh, and so they're different in that way. Um, there's really no better or worse version, I don't think. I think they're both just kind of despicable. Um, but I don't know what's going to happen there. Uh, we'll see. So, um, also, A-Train is out. Um, we had that happen last episode. We had The Deep. Um, apparently is getting married. He's He's got his whole other thing going. There's like a whole other thing over here that's going on with The Deep. And it's just, it's a thing that is happening. Um... We got a very, what I thought was a very kind of um, lighthearted road trip scene where they're making their way to um, the woman who was telling them more about Liberty and everything. Um, it was Mother's Milk, Huey, and Annie. And it was just so nice to see, particularly like Huey and Annie, just kind of um, relaxing and enjoying themselves. And, and after the scene we had with Annie where, she, oh my lord, I thought that was it for my girl, you guys. And it, it might still be, I don't even know. Um, how or if anyone's going to get out of this in one piece. But um, yeah, it was it was a much needed breather, but then kind of ended kind of sad because I was like, nah, we can't do this anymore. But I don't know. They've said that so many times. I think they're going to find their way back to each other every time. I hope so. But um, so we had that. We had a little bit um, about Frenchie and Kimiko, just him like kind of failing to comfort her and not knowing how to help her and everything. Um, of course, we had the Becca and Butcher story, which was heartbreaking. Um, after all this time, he finally finds her. And I just feel so bad for them both because after everything she's been through, the thought of having to choose between him and her son is awful. But let's face it, like there's... Even if it was just having to live with Homelander's kid that was a soup, like, that would be, I think, hard enough for him. But the point that he made about, like, Vought always being after them and you can't leave him behind because then he turns into Homelander. And also that's her kid. Like, you can't ask her to leave her kid behind. It doesn't, it doesn't, you know, it's still her kid. She's still raising him and, and loves him and everything. Um... There's just no, there's no one, no one won there. Everyone lost. Everyone lost. Um, it's just very sad. And I don't know where that's going to leave Butcher. Apparently he was not in the greatest mental shape even before all this happened with Becca, which she alluded to before. Um, but yeah, I, I honestly have no clue. Um, but you guys, there is one way to find out, and that is to jump in to the next episode of The Boys. Let's go. Oh, no. Beautiful. Elaine is good for you. I'm not going to let you throw that away. No, no not ever. Oh. That would be cruel. Cool. Oh, what would he know about cruelty? Look at this. Look at these strong female lesbians. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> this is the way he says it is so... Girls, get it on. Done. Girls, get it done. I sure do. Oh, 
please stop talking, Homelander. Please, please stop talking. Please stop talking. I just don't want to hear any more about this from him. Oh my god. Oh, when did he? Oh my lord. So what, they're all starving? The women's got a fucking cell phone? Uh, you know, I really wish you had cleared this with me before you went over there. Oh, Jesus Christ, I don't have to clear shit with you last week. <sighs> I saw a chance for an easy... So at a, 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 a point, point and a half, two? Um... He's surprised after he like slaughtered people. He's surprised. You uh, you were always not my canary, I suppose. Like you. Goodbye, you. Hello. Oh, they mentioned this before about the canary. So, good news or bad? I'd say it's good news. And now the CG mutants approach. And there's the bad news. <laughs> there's no way we can restore the grid. Get that flash drive to the top. But how are you going to get through all of them? Don't worry. Girls get it done. And cut our rehearsal. No one move. No one move. <sighs> it's better if we just leave it open ended. Okay. You know what I mean? Oh. Um, just and looks and just not a whole bunch of words. Right. Maybe make it more of a question. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. It's <laughs> even in the movie. Yeah. They're writing him out. Yeah. Now doing this shitty scene. That is way above my pay grade. Bring that up with Ashley. Right? Right. I think Ashley's got enough oh, yeah. on her mind. Oh, you don't want to do that. Um, yeah, you guys are really going to wish. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. That was a face off if I've ever seen one. Oh, my. Oh, and yeah, oh, but he was not following her quickly enough. You should have told me you were bringing company. Oh! What does this one remind you of? Really, the spitting of Lenny. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> no. Just so you know, that's Tara's girlfriend. What? Miss Fuck Pink. I oh, I, I hope Mother's Milk has some hand sanitizer on him. Oh my god. Oh no! Oh no! He found him! New plan! If he wants to kill us, we'll have to do it with an audience. Hmm. Okay. Nice. What? Which? Oh no! Oh, you, you, you look so pretty. I, I wanted to see you, sweetheart. I, I miss you. You could excuse yourself, you know. Your mom is so sorry about the Compound V, and she understands that keeping that a secret really hurt your relationship. Yeah, and then I, I used to- Why are you involved here? Important. I know that now. Why are you talking to a stranger about our relationship? Yes, she's good stranger. question. She's your teammate. I see, the mom just has no idea what a cutthroat place this is. Everyone is upset about Compound V. I mean- Someone was so upset just get out. It to the press. Just get out. Just get out. Oh, no! Whatever they are. I'll let you two hash it out, but I just think if it was me. Hero now. She is a symbol. Representation oh, no. matters. She's hashtag brave Maeve. <laughs> 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 
Silent Image Makeover first. Guess oh, they've got the whole with the rainbow flag. That's a pretty picture. And Chicago Pride because you are two proud lesbians. You know Mavis Bi, right? Yeah, you know what? I just feel like lesbian is a bit of an easier sell, but more cut and dry. Now, it's 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 Elena this, but you're, it. but this is her, and you're trying to sell it and. Tailored look. That looks like menswear. Pew research shows that two feminine women in a relationship sends a problematic message. Yeah, this isn't penthouse form. Americans are more accepting of gays when they're in a clear-cut gender role relationship. Uh, like uh, Ellen and Portia. Okay. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna take that motherfucker down. Oh, so she's got her own plan to take him down. I mean, Maeve knows better than anyone the kind of horrible stuff he does. If you know a chance to make it. Put your... I'll be using a lot down. No! It can't oh, end... Oh. oh. I'm supposed to be impressed by this blaze of glory jerk-off shit? Huey's not gonna buy that. You don't think I thought about cash... Jesus, you fucking pathetic. You're so scared of being alone, Huey. First you lecture on the Robin, then Starlight, and now me. Well, you know what, son? I ain't interested. Is he trying to tell him off so that he won't try to stop him? I think maybe he is. Just get out of the fucking way. That's not... That's not what they do. That's not what the boys do! Don't make me move yet. You can move him. <gasps> <laughs> Whoa! I just love Mother's Milk so much. I love him so much. This is poison for your soul, I know. Come with me, Luca. <gasps> oh. He can't I understand. He can't understand. He just he just wants to help her. He wants to understand her. Fuck this. Uh, Fuck you. And he's done. Go be your master. Oh. I used to be angry. Oh no. Sure. Oh no. Sure. Oh no. But thanks to the Church of the Collective. Oh no. I now know the kind of man I want to be. The kind of man who calls out injustice when he sees it. Hey, dude. <laughs> that's not cool. <laughs> Please tell me he didn't he just. Stands up for what's that's... right. Come on, guys. Knock it off. It's so it's so cheesy it's though. Man. It's so it's cheesy though. So join us at the Church of the Collective. And be the person you were always meant to be. I wonder what this Church of the Collective really is. And then they just started letting all kinds of people in, you know? Get out of my face right now. I think you do know. Some people are quality and others are... garbage. No. Don't. Stop. Oh, go away. Go away. We have a problem. Of course not. Why would you say that? Of all the times to run through a person, now is the time. Now is the time. Did you love that little walk like an Egyptian dance you did online? So fun. I loved it. Oh, God. He's taking matters into his own hands. But I understand. I'm upset, too. I mean, come on, guys. Nobody wants innocent people to get hurt. Sometimes... Well, these things just happen. But he didn't stop them. He gutted them. Well, no. Of course not. But if you serve with our amazing soldiers he's like gonna, I have, he's gonna freak out. He's gonna freak out. Freedom comes at a price. You don't speak for us. He's gonna freak out and kill someone. He's gonna freak out and kill someone because they made him mad. Oh no, 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 stop, stop, just fly away, just fly, no, oh my dear lord.
Oh, not someone, a ton of people. He just he just straight up killed them. Yuki, I'm sorry, you can't you can't PR this away. You cannot PR that away. That's that's hundreds of charred bodies. Oh god, he didn't do it, he didn't do it, he didn't do it. Just flit, just just fly away. Okay. Oh god, I thought he really did it for a sec. I thought he really did it. She's losing her hair. She's losing her hair. She needs to find a new job, is what she needs to do. This is the taffy room? Um, that's... That doesn't look like taffy. Oh, this is just the first batch. I'll have Logan punch up the fear. Logan? My main queen. So... When you see it on your uncle's Facebook page, then you know it's working. Uh They're they're going to restore his image through the power of memes? Who's Lenny? Skinny nervous little brother. Oh. Oh. Well, thank you. <laughs> then, Lenny steps in. Face all bleeding. Leads Billy away. Easy, quiet as a lamb. His canary. That was Lenny. What happened to Lenny? Nothing good, I'm assuming. I think Billy needs someone like him. God rest his soul. Oh, of course. Of course. Of course. Oh, and now we'll never know. Whoa. Oh, it's okay, baby. Baby boy, I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. It's okay. Oh, no. Did puppy give away their location? Don't you dare die, Butcher. Don't you dare. Ah! No! 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 Oh, God. He's... No! Don't! Oh, mother's milk. He had better not be mortally wounded. Though, not mother's milk. Sure, you actually have the proof of which you speak. Oh, that was fast. That's just his favorite word. Then you're gonna need a woman to tell everyone that you're not a complete piece of shit. I could be that person for you. What do you think of a piece of shit? Fuck yeah. The point <laughs> is, I can help you if you help me. Sage Grove. What is, what is this all? Oh, what are you doing in my trailer? You know, oh. you have no right to talk to my mother about personal shit. Spin it. There you go. What were you trying? The limb, gecko. Yeah, he stole the V. And then you, you leaked it to MSNBC. Now, what do you think Vought's going to feel when I tell them? Oh, no. So how do you think the world will feel when I tell them that? You used to be Liberty. <gasps> Going against your own people? You mean fucking white people? Starlight. Superheroes. Don't be racist. 
Oh, you'd know. You don't need, oh yes. Yeah, I, I, I would be right there with her. I would be like, I will burn you up. You're gonna be a big help to me. What the hell does that mean? Uh-uh. Nope. Come in. I owe you. Well, what are you ever gonna do to repay me? I don't even wanna know the answer to that. I don't even wanna know the answer. There's no good that can come of this yeah. alliance. I almost forgot. <gasps> the toy! He got him a toy. <laughs> Fuck it. That's my boy. Rip it to shreds. Oh, I think he's okay. He's doing something different. Okay. No! No, God, no. I don't know. I don't want to see this. This is sick. Don't be a pussy. Laser my fucking tits. No. No. No, thank you. What? What am I watching? All right, you guys. Um, <laughs> God. <sighs> See, you know how last episode I was like really not down with the um, the Homelander, uh, the possible Homelander um, love scene, Homelander squared love scene. This was worse. This was worse. Um. Wow. Okay, so in good news, um, I was very happy to see uh, that everyone made it out. Like, everyone made it out of that um, situation with Black Noir. Okay, like, Mother's Milk is going to be all right. I was so, I was so scared. I was so, I, I'm just so afraid now to get attached. Like, not that we've, not that they've ever killed off any of our main people or anything. Um, but I'm just, like, terrified now. Um, but thank God he's all right. Um, but yeah, so I was glad they made it out of that. I was glad, um, for, for them to get closer that way. Um, Huey and Butcher, um, to learn about the brother and, um, kind of really what Huey really means to Butcher and what he represents in his life. It was so nice after, um, you know, building up this, partnership between the two of them in season one only kind of to have them more at odds this season um after everything that had happened um it was nice to see them kind of uh get back to get back on the same page and get back to a, a good place together um that was really nice um everything else was pretty dang bad um so i don't i the whole thing with um, the deep is, I mean, just anything he does is just ridiculous. Like anything he does just comes off as ridiculous. And the whole scene with Maeve, just, Maeve just completely shutting him down, um, at everything. But Maeve now having the resolve after they dragged Elena, after Homelander dragged Elena into this whole thing and her knowing that there is no way for Elena to ever have a normal life while he is after them um, deciding to take down Homelander. Honestly, at the beginning of the episode, when all that stuff was leaking, like about the way he killed people and everything, I would have thought, man, you know, this is actually, I feel like she more than anyone kind of knows him and would be able to maybe expose a lot of that but now that he's teamed up with Stormfront I just don't even know also Stormfront in every scene now just is like nails on a chalkboard for me I cannot believe I ever found her like to be fun or amusing because that scene with A-Train and honestly like you know because of the things that he's done like the way that he killed Robin and and laughed about it afterwards and everything I am no A-Train fan, but even I was sitting there like the way that she was talking to him, like, boy, if there was just ever a time to run through a person, it's right now. <laughs> oh, man, I just can't with her. And then she has the nerve to say to Starlight, like, oh, that's so racist. Like, I no, just get out of my face. Get out of my face. 
get out of my face. Um, now I'm worried about Annie as well, by the way, because I feel like Annie has been trying to play this very dangerous game and has finally kind of um, run into someone who um, is is really an expert at the game and has a lot more experience because we know she has decades now of experience. Um, so that would explain why in the photo, like the her mom, um, her mom looked almost more like she could be her grandma, and that's probably why because she was actually born when she was born and is a lot older than she actually is. But I, you know what? I'm just so scared that she has the the hatred and and the mania of like the worst characters on the show, but she actually has the the manipulative skills and experience to be able to really do something about it. Um, Homelander is just kind of like he's like a he's like a big maniacal powerful kid. Um, he has a lot of power. He can do a lot of damage, but he's not the best at scheming. I feel like she has both the power and the scheming, which is a terrifying combo. And of course, you know, her just complete hate, um, as her, as her motivation, apparently, it makes for a terrifying combination. Um, really, wow. And now I'm scared that, like, Starlight's kind of beholding her, and Homelander is literally in bed with her. I can never unsee that scene. I best I can do is lock it up in the vault and just never think about it again. Um, wow. Um, also, we had um, Frenchie and Kimiko, and Fr and Frenchie just finally just giving up on her. I hope he hasn't really given up on her. But I mean, on the one hand, you can see how. He's so frustrated from trying to get inside her world and get inside her head. And he literally can't understand her. And it's so frustrating. Um, but on the other hand, like, she's clearly, like, you can see why she is hurting horribly. Um, I just feel awful for both of them. And I hope this isn't really the end for them. Um, all right. Who else? So we just, we covered so many people. The whole thing with poor Maeve. Oh, God. I hope she... I really hope she can do it too. I just I feel awful for her having that. It just goes to show like they they will take they did the same thing with Starlight trying to expose what happened with the deep. Um they take anything that's somewhat reality and make it a part of their fiction, just a part of their narrative, and that's what they do. Um craziness. Um I think did I cover everyone? I don't know if I forgot anyone's story in it. Well, I just feel like we covered so very much in this episode. Um, but yes, uh, I, it definitely feels like we're ramping up. Like, this is episode five, and I think there was, like, maybe eight episodes. Last season was eight episodes. And I got to tell you, I really get that sense that we are um, ramping up to uh, the finale now. Like, it feels like things are getting more and more kind of crazy and, and dangerous each episode. So, um, guys, I, I had a blast with that episode. I know it's weird to say that when it's just such a kind of train wreck kind of show where it's like all this crazy, awful stuff happening and you just can't take your eyes off it. But it is so incredibly well done and very, very interesting to watch. Um, I had a great time. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to join me next time. We will watch it and get through it together. Bye for now, guys.